Good evening. Ever since the Prime Minister launched his great education debate a few months ago with his controversial remarks about standards in our secondary schools, the arguments have rumbled on about exactly what is taught and how. Tonight in Panorama, we won't be dealing with the arguments or with the experts. Instead, we want to show what school can be like for millions of children and their teachers. Are these really the best days of our children's lives? The school we've been to is an ordinary, comprehensive school in outer London. It has 1,400 pupils, 70 teachers, a headmaster and two deputy heads. And it's divided into four houses to help look after the children's welfare with housemasters and tutors under them responsible for the non-teaching side of school life. This isn't a conventional panorama report. There's no reporter and no commentary. It offers instead a fly-on-the-wall view of life in one school today. everybody. This morning I want to play you um, one of my favourite pieces of music which is a Wagnerian opera and it'd be interesting to know how many of you have been to an opera. Can you put your hands up if any of you have, have been to an opera? Well you've got a, a treat this, this morning because I'm going to play you part of the Ride of the Valkyries which is a piece of my favourite music and I'm sure that if you listen quietly, you might be surprised that um, it's quite enjoyable. <laughs> Monica, Susan, Sherba, Brian, where were you yesterday afternoon? Well, that's not good enough. You come in future, all go and get your mark. About you, Mark, no books. Hello, sweetie. Hi. Why are you bored? Because I haven't got a book. Well, why don't you bring one? I can't be bothered to bring one. Oh, you can't be bothered? Have you got a newspaper or a magazine? Magazine? No, I don't want nothing. Why not? I don't Honest. I am. You always say that. Well, I am. I am. Last time. 
Well, I have. I've cut down. I really have. So have I. Me and my partner... I just smoke a pint now. Me and my partner are 30 pounds a week. Dad. Well, you shouldn't. Fancy spending all that money on Siggy. It's silly, isn't it? Well, not now. You could buy other things. What? Well, save up and buy some clothes or I've a pullover. I've got already. I get five mm. pounds. No, I get seven pounds. Maminda, go and get your mark. Pardon? No, don't pull the wire out. Why? <laughs> because I'm, I'll collapse in a heap, won't I? Will you? I'm bionic, didn't you know? No, you're not bionic. Steve Austin of Faraday. That's me. He's going to promise me to go to the lessons today. Big promise. I can't hear you. Big promise. <laughs> she promise. makes no promises. <laughs> Yeah, make sure he goes weed all Right. Promise. Promise. Please go. I'll take the time. Sherbert, please go. Please. For me. Promise. Yeah. See ya. I'm not going all day. I've got cookery here. That you look, Shana. Same. So she's going to need to work, though, because she's got to finish her dress off. I've got cooker, I never do nothing in there anyway. What else? Nothing, you've got hit, um, science, and then I've got maths, isn't it? <laughs> With proper civilities, the ladies then withdrew, all of them equally surprised to find that he meditated a quick return. Mrs. Bennett wished to understand by it that he thought of paying his addresses to one of her younger girls. She, who did he look at first? Jane. Jane. That was no good. Then he's looked at Elizabeth. That's no good. <clears throat> now Mrs. Bennet is still anxious that, you know, she's going to grab him somehow. But why is it that she's really anxious to get him? Because of the money. Because of the money and the house and the land. That's right. She's, she's determined she's going to hang on to it, if possible. But on the following morning, every hope of this kind was done away. Miss Lucas called soon after breakfast and in a private conference with Elizabeth, related the event of the day before. I see what you are feeling, replied Charlotte. You must be surprised, very much surprised, so lately as Mr. Collins was wishing to marry you. But when you have had time to think it all over, I hope you will be satisfied with what I have done. Notice this. I am not romantic, you know. I never was. Do you think that's actually true from what we know about Charlotte? Does she love him? Does Charlotte love him? Yeah. Well, what do you think? Well, if I said, no, I don't think she does. Well, then she won't be happy. She won't she be happy. She's got to have a certain amount of love in her, isn't she? Have you? I <laughs> would think so. Sure. Yes, I would think so. Yes. Well, look, let's put it another way. Would Elizabeth be happy with Mr. Collins? What do you think Elizabeth expects from marriage? <laughs> well, of course, we all expect that from marriage, yes. But, I mean, apart from that, I mean, let's, let, you know... Um, Though, incidentally, I must say, Mr. Collins doesn't exactly inspire one with confidence, does he, in this respect? However, um... <laughs> we not going on there, yes. <laughs> OK, well, anyway, so let's get on. Elizabeth was sitting with her mother and sister, reflecting on what she had heard. Right, we're all in now. Come on. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. Oi! Yeah. <laughs> now. Yeah. Now, come on. Now, we want none of that, none of that needling or swearing. It's not necessary. I don't want any more eating the sweets in here. Finish the sweets. We're short of chairs. Well, now we're going to sort out. Well, don't sit there. I always sit there. Right. Victor. Sit down. Victor, sit there and get yourself sorted out. Ian, we're short of a chair, you can use mine. Put your comic away. <laughs> right, now. We'll get the paper situation sorted out in a minute. Don't want that. Quick, now we'll go to the artwork. I'll tell you what it was all about. It was a difficult one. And uh, then we go on to the lesson proper. Come on, quiet. Now, it was on page 37 to 38, if you remember, about Germany. Now, 
briefly, we're not going to go into this in detail, but briefly, <laughs> Germany is split up into a number of different uh, principalities. 39 small states in Germany in, say, 1850. The largest state is Prussia. Now, Prussia, because of its geographic situation, if you think, we've got a map here. Um, look, you know, look at the map on page 36. Now, you can see Prussia in the middle, to sort the of top right-hand section. See that Prussia? The lines across it, like that. And you see the other side of it, Russian Empire. Now, there is nothing between Russia and Prussia in terms... in terms of hills or mountains. Now, the people who live in Prussia become militaristic because of this. You see, they're undefended. Like th in this country, we've got the channel. So we don't have to worry about invasions. So they become what we call militaristic. They become very warlike people. Come on. Come on, be quiet. Now, we'll read on and see. Austria and Prussia were rivals for the leadership of the German states. But by the end of the 19th century, it was Prussia which had won. Now, do that map, and it shows you the extent of Germany. Germany is the largest country in Europe. Yes. yes, paper. Right, I'll give paper out. I can't give you one sheet. Uh, draw the map, first of all. The easy one. Got pencil, I've got a pen you can buy. No pencils. I've had them stolen. <laughs> I've had them all stolen. Right, any more paper? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, squeeze it on. No, I have a pen. No? Any more paper? Uh, did you find a pencil sharp either? Oh, it's there. She, don't do it on the floor. Now, get on with your work. Get on with your work. Look, what, militarist, what? Northern, Northern Europe has what? Few natural barriers. Victor, stop making a noise. What book? Well, you get your book. Oh, it was me that's lost it. I've lost your book. Do you want a pen? Because your pen's broken. I don't know that I've got one. What? Prussians, not Persians, Prussians. Oh, victorious. Victorious. Which ball talking about? Third one? Look, she's saying she can't see me. Where am I supposed to go? Jackie, you've got four questions. You've got six minutes. Everybody's got to finish it. If they don't finish it, don't go to it's done. You, yeah, yeah. Quiet. Victor, shut up. It's only a couple of minutes now, so please finish off. Come on, let's get some decent work in. What? That's not your book. No. Right, sit down. Right, let's have the exercise books in. Victor, go around and take the exercise books. I want them all in. I might have been cut, I might have been too Come on, Paul, yes, I can. Now, where is. Uh... No, you're not going to the big seat. Exercise books. This row can go, not the middle row. Let's get it a bit all deep. This row, come on, up it, quick. Number in the standard form, you have to move decimal point from here to there. And how many number of places are there? One, two. Your main characteristic will be one less than that. We are starting for. Why? Just come in. Why? Hmm? Just come to school. Just come to school. Have yeah. you got a note from your mother or father? What for being late? Yeah. Have you got a note? Just sign. Right, sit down. 
Now we are starting with the ordinary, very simple question, log 2. When you find the log of any number, there comes two points in there. You look up log 2 from your log books, please. Look up log 2. Hmm? The log books. That cover is closed. We can't open it. Can you open it? Just kick it. Okay. That's the only way. I haven't got the key. I sit down. The log books are in that cupboard, and the cupboard is closed. I haven't got the key. I haven't got the key. The key is not in the school. All right, somebody nicked it. Right, that's fine log two from your log books. You use page eight and page nine from your book. Look up log two, number 20 you look for, two decimal naught. In the first column, you get naught point four seven seven. Sorry, I'm wrong. It's not. Not one. I'm sure it's absolutely in the centre. Dead straight. And we can punch it the rest of the way. That'll stop them. Really up and down. the same length because it's not where's your word? Just there. Oh you are naughty. I'm not naughty, I just want to do my work. You are very, very it's naughty. Slow. Look, it's too small though. Look, who says too small? You right. just said just now they was too small. Where are the hands of this animal? Where are the hands of the Oh, Don't say bad words. Wow, well, you could stay all day by my age. You see what you have done? You haven't even filled them up yet. Why don't you say something? Look. It's your aptitude, Tana. Please, would you sit down properly? Look. What have I been doing then? Look. Mine. That's not mine. I know, but uh, this is what they have to look like. It's mine. It's all right. You've me something. Where are your legs? I mean the legs of your animal. Look. It's got legs already. It's a sausage dog. Don't be silly. Would you 
No wonder we have so many rubbish lessons. Put up your hands again, team one. Go out there, get yourself sorted out. You don't have to throw balls around with them. Just get yourself sorted out. Sorry, over here. Team two, put your hands up. Get yourself sorted out. Team three, get yourself sorted out. Team four, get yourself sorted out. Right, Michael, they're ready. books please to the page that you did yesterday while I was not here I was having a lovely time I was somewhere else I wasn't with you was I okay Lisa Webster read me your answer for the question how many items of food laid out on the breakfast table can you remember without referring to the passage Lisa Webster Lisa Webster Lisa yeah, that's your name? Why do you do what Eva says? Eva's not the teacher here. I am. No, no, don't be mean. On the board. And you can read. And it was on the Where there are not enough, share them. Eva, don't give one to everybody. There are not enough. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Michael, look at the worksheet. Put the date at the top of your work. Yes. David. Right. You then, Michael, copy what's at the top of the worksheet into your book. No, the whole thing. The vowels are a comma e comma i comma o comma u full stop. Yes, that is what it says at the top of the worksheet, and that is what I have said. How many times now? Four? No, six. Six. Do number two, yeah. which says make two new columns in your book. Look at the above list again. Put the words which end with vowels on the left-hand column and the words which end with consonants in the right-hand column. Yeah. All right, make two new columns, vowels on the left and consonants on the right. Now, Michelle. to produce sort of uh, statistics for governors and people like that about uh, all of you in the upper six that are applying for higher education? Uh, well, my first choice is Edinburgh. Edinburgh, yeah. Then okay. Bristol. Bristol. The third one is Nottingham. Yes. Um, after that, St Andrews. Yeah. And the School of Slavonic and these European Studies. You've got Polish A-level already. That's right, and I'm going to sit for English and Russian. English and Russian. Next sure. You'll have the three A-levels, English, Hopefully. Russian, yes. Polish, and good grades in each, I hope. <laughs> I hope yes, so too. I see. Now, Edinburgh, then. That's right. Well, they are offering um, Russian with linguistics, combined honours, and that's the course I'd like to do most. You actually had an offer now, haven't you? For yeah. From, uh, can Leeds. you tell me? Leeds. Leeds University. Yes. Sorry. And what did they finally come up with? What grades? Three Bs. Three um, Bs. Chemistry, Physics and Biology. Yeah. And this is, uh, this is for medicine? Yes, right. You're absolutely dedicated to that profession, right? <laughs> yes. Well, these three Bs, are you going to get them? That's, that's the thing. I'm not certainly going to try. You know, we did this review on them at half term. Yeah. I said that because we were going to keep them only for a trial period this term and find yeah. out how they were doing, because yeah. they were so awful in the, sixth, in the fifth year, not awful in the sense of... Um, doing anything but not working as effectively as they should. Now what came out was that in general Faye has missed so much yes, that yeah. you know most of her work is a non-event. She hasn't done it. Okay? I've got to tell you because I promised mm -hmm. you in July you will tell me, yes. that I'd let you know that there, there isn't any progress. I mean apart from these three essays in A-level English now that she's turned out last week the rest of the staff say that you know the persistent absenteeism means that she's made virtually no progress at all. I don't wonder why. Because Faye so, I mean, in everything you ask at home, she's so bright in that manner. The three of them are still together, you see. And I, Can't I, you do anything about well, that? We've a talked, little bit of separation? We, well, we try, <laughs> we try very hard in the sense that, you know, there are some subjects they don't go to, go to together, like, for example, Lucy and Valley do French A-level, Faye doesn't do French A-level. But it's virtually impossible, the way the options work out, to separate Faye from them. Yes. For example, English A-level, yes, when she's I in see. with Lucy and mm -hmm. in with Valley. Yes. I mean, there are no complaints that they're not, you know, they're, they're mucking about in class. It's simply in Faye's case They're not now, putting in enough. She's not putting in enough. She's going to have to work mm -hmm. flat out when she gets her knee sorted out 
you know, and when yes. she's back in, yeah. to make up the work she's missing. It's just that we need to prompt her a little bit now and again. Yeah, I'll be okay. down for it. Get the belt out and all if you want to. <gasps> oh, you know our views on that one. <laughs> Oi, you lads! Downstairs, come on, quickly! Come on! Quick, come on! That won't do your teeth any good. Outside, go on, move! Come on, all of you. Out you go. Are you really going to the library? You sure? Now then, girls, what are we doing here? Should be outside. Fresh air's good for you. Better than that stuff you're eating, sweets and goodness knows what. My old friend Daryl, come yes, along, sir. you shouldn't be wearing it. Nice though it looks, outside, fresh air's good for you. Yes. Quickly as you can, this way I think. Uh, basketball. One. Basketball? Yeah. When? It's downstairs. I know where it is, but have you got to be there? Yeah, I'm Who says? Mrs. Shaw's. You sure? Positive. I shall check. You can check if you Okay, are. off you go to basketball, quickly then. Oh, my goodness me, what do I see here? Come on, everybody out. Oh, yes. And the rest, I think. All of you, go on, outside. Outside. Oh. Hi, Robert. I've had a word with Matron. I'm very concerned with what happened the other day. Would you like me to tell... Or would you like to tell me your part in it before...? Well, I went up there and I said to her, I've got to go to a dentist. And uh, she said, all right, I'll give you a pass. Mm -hmm. So uh, she said, where's the note from your parents? I said, I haven't got one. A note, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, she started shouting. So I said to her, what are you shouting about? And uh, she kept on and on. So I walked down the corridor and uh, she told me to come back, so I swore at her. And uh, she told me to come back again, so I swore at her again. And just walked out down the corridor back to my class. Now, this is a problem, isn't it? Hmm? So. I think you've left yourself down. You've left yourself down very badly. And that worries me. OK? Sure. Now you can see I'm not getting at you or anything. Yeah. I'm just disappointed. Now, did you go to the dentist? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, you didn't have a pass out. No, so technically, you were truanting. So that's added to it. Now, I can get over the technicality of truanting. You won't worry about that. But at the moment, I can't get over the fact that you swore at a woman. A woman of mature years who deserves respect. Right, off you go now and apologise to her and then come back up and wait out there for me. Thank you, Robert. OK, Raymond? Miss Longman, she That's said, right, if yeah. I do this work... That was excellent. Yeah, what she said to me was that when you made the effort, you were, if not the best, certainly one of the best in the class. She made that this morning. Which exam are you doing? Well, I need a CSE. Only? What do you mean only? That's very good. No, I wanted to do our level in English, because eh? I like English. Yeah. Well, what do you think of a sixth year? You wouldn't like it at the moment? No, not yet. What are your other options? Um, economics. Yeah. Who do you have e for economics? Mr. Kennedy. Mm -hmm. I can't seem to get a grip on that subject for the moment. Is it your fault? No, I can't understand the word. You said it didn't explain <laughs> it to me. What, what other subjects are you doing? Other options? Or yeah, options. Biology, Miss Rare. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I can't remember them all now. Loads of them, I know that. Uh, I can't remember. Are you doing English others. literature right Yeah, yeah, yeah doing English. that. Doing Who's that level in that. Who are you with? Miss Omerod. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, she always speaks very highly of you, I must say. Well, I think, you know, Raymond, we've got the basis here for some great success. Okay, Raymond, now, if you wait outside for me just for a few minutes, and then I'll let you go. Would you ask Anne to come in, please? All right, sit down, please, Anne. 
Would you like to tell me the number of things you've done wrong this week? Front off. Front off. And was that? Um, yesterday. Um, been late. How many times was that? Dunno. You were on time Monday, weren't you? Yeah. I would say about three times, eh? What else? Been rude to the uh, teachers. Yeah, who was that? Mr. Jeffries, Mrs. Longland. When was Mr. Jeffries again? Hmm? When were you rude to Mr. Jeffries? I don't know, I can't remember. Right. Now, what are you going to do about it? I don't know, I thought that. Well, you must, mustn't you? I'm not going to bunk off. You're not going to bunk off. I've started coming in early since. since... Yeah, now, what about assemblies? Yesterday. I'll go to assembly. Why didn't you go today? I don't know. Why? That not assembly, it's boring. You realise now that most things, not everything, of course, most things that happen, I'm going to hear about anyway. Mm. Okay? So you and I had better become very good friends. Hmm? Madam, we all know why you're here. We refuse to be fooled by Oh my god, this is all right, you know. Who sent you down, Karen? No, it's all right. She worked down with you. Yeah. Right, that's good. Come on. <laughs> it's a little, isn't it? I told you it was a little chair. What have you got to do? Yeah, what have you got to do? I've got a copy. It's a long way to Tipperary. And it's been done. Oh, why don't we join the house? This is quite a good one. What, what are you doing this work for? with? I'm a student teacher. A student teacher? Yeah. Dick Howard, Mrs. Howard. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Is it just a minute, Joe? Can we have a good one back? Hey, Ursula, I'll dig dog. Thomas Payne knows all the stupid teachers. Mr. Mr. Edwards says that he could save one place out of all those places, especially for you, and you haven't been. The last year I was. Yeah, I didn't mind it. But this year. Well, why do you mind it this year in particular? Because it's stupid. We ain't doing all good stuff. Oh. Well, it looked pretty good, didn't it? What you were doing there looked pretty good. Didn't it? it just looked like one round circle with a couple of lines in it. That was bisecting when you first started. You showed him you could do the bisecting. Oh, yeah. It'd still be boring. Jerry, when you do any subject, you've got to do the basics first. So Unless you get the basics, you don't get the skill, the all-round skill, to do the whole thing. Yeah, I'll come in and wait, so I've got them now, haven't I? Yeah. So if you have any more absences, you're going to get the courts breathing down. Oh. Do you have to finish the first one, or you can do a second one and go and do one like that? I'm not going to do it. It's boring. Why is it boring? Well, I don't want to learn about that, do I? Well, a lot of people live in that. Yeah, yeah when I get a job, they're not going to say what happens in the war and everything like that, are they? That's true. That's sick. But it's general knowledge, really, isn't it? It's background no, to the I country. I don't want to know it. I already know it. What would be useful subjects for you to do, Karen, in school? Typing. What's the best one? Typing. Yeah, but I never do. Why do you miss your typing? Do I? No, I know you don't. What about your other subjects, Karen? Really? English. What about child development? Did you go to that? Sometimes. Because I would have thought that would be a real practical subject, anyway. No. What do you want? You have it. No, don't do that. How's your phone, anyway? All right, thanks. Girls, are you ready? All right, sit down. Essay. Some of these girls obviously went to the lab and got the information. Some of you just wrote about half a page. Just because the information wasn't in the, the text that I've given you, you didn't bother to look any further. Sonia, come and get your book. Debbie, Linda, Marie Cusick, come and get your book. What's the use of it at home? That's the third essay you haven't given in. Where's yours? 
Essen. The one on the fly. You were here, you haven't been away. Why should I spend my money to do homework? I'll go to no places. Like sitting already doing homework. So do you think you're going to get your exam without doing any work? You're going to get your exam without doing any work? Yeah, but look, Bing, suppose you're right, we haven't done about the fly, right? <laughs> and you haven't taught us about the fly, right? And then we went into... So you have to be swimming fed the whole time, but I'm going to do the fly later and on. And then when we went into the exam, like, we couldn't go into the library then, could we? Well, we're sitting in the exam. <laughs> That's very silly. Miss. You, just because it's something, I give you something that isn't in a text, doesn't mean that you can't Miss. go to library and get the information yourself. Miss, the, the fly hasn't got nothing to do with human biology, though, has it? So disease hasn't got anything to do with human biology? Disease? That's not the fly. Well, the fly has got to do with disease, because it carries disease. Oh, well, it's not in here, is it? Anyway, I was in there. Right, have you got a head in the menstrual cycle? I'm going to give you notes. Well, then you'll have to use a pencil. Do you think for once in your life you can bring a pen? Because they're handy for writing with. Yeah, she's stupid, isn't she? Well, you right. Talk, you Girls, you ready? Put various changes occur in the female sex organs. This is under the menstrual cycle. Various changes occur in the female sex organs. Full stop. Cycle. Every cycle lasts about 28 days. <laughs> Bleeding occurs. Stop being stupid. Bleeding occurs over three to five days of the menstrual cycle. <coughs> three to five. Have you got that? Not 35. Right, girls, would you finish the diagram? On page 187, you draw it, the whole diagram. Now be quiet and get on with it and do it accurately. No, I'm not joking. Is this your book? Who's oh, it at home? How are we supposed to do that? <laughs> Girls, they can't hear because you're talking. Debbie. If you're not doing this work, you can go to the back of the class and sit on the floor. sit here. I'll sit here, can't I? She can copy there. Sit. Now we haven't got a book. Debbie. Yeah, well, if you've got a book, I can sit there. I'm surprised, aren't you? Go on. Debbie can sit there. Look, you're doing different work to everybody else. I don't want to sit on my arm with him. Sit there. <laughs> right, there's your book, there's your book. Get on with it. I ain't finished. I've got this. You're a nasty, rude girl. Elsie, <laughs> compose, do, etage. Right. Now, fantastically, you're going to switch. Try this one after me. L. L. Sir, not C. Sir. Sir. Think. Okay? L. Sir. Sir. Compose. Compose. Now, compose, you know, it's down the bottom of the garden. <laughs> yeah, it's compost. Composer. Composer. Put an effort behind. Composer. Come on. Composer. Desitage. Now, that's got all the rubbish out of it. Now take a deep breath. You know, look as though you're living and say, Elsa composed de desitage. Quick. Elsa composed de desitage. Good. Now we've got the sounds. Now let's put it into French. Very good. Go on. Elsa true. Press the laundry. Elsa composed the two estage. Elsa de choisi. Choiseau. No, sorry. Aurée de chaussée. Two sounds. De chaussée. One chaussée. Il y a une entrée. De salle séjour. Une cuisine de placard. Fine. Au premier, il y a trois chambres. A coucher. Good. Un cell de bain. And where's it? Next, please. Can we, young lady? I can't do it, yes, sir. Can. I can't. Right, would you say it after me slowly? No. Good. <laughs> Try, please. Come on. Don't... I can't do it. It's all right, don't worry. I can't do it either, but they haven't found out yet. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's try, shall we? Voici ma maison. Can I have a crack? What? Come on. Voici ma maison. Voici la maison. That's very good. Elle se trouve. Elle se trouve. Près de Paris. Près de Paris. Fine. Now look, 
Don't hide your light. It's good. Try again. Elle se compose. Elle se compose. De deux étages. De ce, what is it? Elle, et, étage. Etage. So why can't you do it? We'll come back. Now, I was just saying that I'm from the career service. Do you know that? Did you know that? The career service and the nearest office is at Acton. And uh, I'm a careers officer for Faraday School. Uh, did you have me give the first talk? Put up your hands who didn't. If you didn't have me for the first talk. Oh, you didn't. Okay. All of you. Put down secretary as first choice, or if not secretary, something like typing or short-term typing. What's the difference between a personal secretary and a person who's a short-term typist? People often say they're a secretary when they really mean they're a typist or a short-term typist or just maybe a, 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 a general clerk in an office. It's a term that's misused, really. But what actually is a personal secretary? Everything for the boss. Yeah, does everything for the boss. Does everything for the boss, yes. She's like a personal assistant to a boss. I've got a list here, actually, of what, which I'll give you in a minute before you go, of what a secretary's duties are, roughly. Um, taking dictation, typing letters and documents, receiving callers and answering the telephone, one thing, as I said, the office is like a record of everything that that man is doing or woman is doing. And uh, everything's got to be kept in order so you can find it quickly. You can waste a whole day looking for something sometimes in an office because somebody filed it in the wrong place or somebody's forgotten where it should have been filed or forgotten it altogether. Um, so, uh, I don't know how you feel now, whether you've got any questions. You know, you might have some questions that I could answer. You have to have O-levels. Yeah, that's what a good one. O-levels and what in? Well, it's very, very variable, actually. Oh. Pardon? It's very variable. Some secretaries have got university degrees, and some people, some secretaries have uh, no qualifications whatsoever. The main thing is you have got to learn the skill of uh, typing and shorthand and office practices. Um, what about CAV? Have any of you heard of the training scheme at CAV? Yeah. Yes. Anyone know anybody that's on it? Yeah. No. Well, I only mention it because CAV is the biggest uh, company in Acton anyway, you know. So they have really got uh, a training so scheme, a very, yeah. very established well, training scheme. Are you? Yeah. They're taking you there. That would be interesting um, to look round. Yeah. Go! 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 It's worse every day, isn't it? Yeah. It's worse than hard labour, that is, Neil. Oh? That's worse than hard labour. Look at the poppies on the floor. Yeah, I know. I don't know where all this dirt comes from, Rena. Do you? Yeah. Gets worse every night. Yeah. Never mind. She beat me, look. Hey? Because they're using it again yeah. tonight, aren't they? Oh, yeah, evening classes tonight. You shouldn't be in here, Stan. No. See, you can't do your work with them walking all over it, can you? No, you shouldn't be in here. Look at the chewing gum on the floor. Yeah, you have to get a knife and get that oh, up, won't you, Rhys? Trouble is, it ruins the floor, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you've got to keep digging it up, digging yeah, it up. terrible. I mean, we get a few children in these gyms, don't we? Out, out. Oh, what a dirty hole.